About 15 minutes later, Sally returned to the bathroom to find her daughter still lounging in the dark. She had pulled the shower curtain around the tub and added bubble bath. She probably has used up most of the hot water too, Sally thought, I guess she's still a teenager. Okay honey, all taken care of. Sheets washed, clothes washed, smell gone. Everything's like new. Sally sat on the floor of the bathroom, the door still open. Thanks, mom. Jordan choked out, beginning to cry. Geordie, I want you to know that I think you're a remarkable young woman and I will be here for you as long as you need me. I don't want you to feel alone during this or any time of your life. Jordan liked how her mom had switched to calling her Geordie. She continued to quietly cry. What about daddy? She eventually quietly whimpered. Geordie, your dad and I have been having some pretty difficult conversations lately that's true. I'm sorry you've had to hear them and honestly I regret some of the things I've said, but I don't want you to worry about that right now. Your daddy loves you very very much and he's trying to do his very best. Jordan cut her off, no, I mean, looking down, she couldn't even say it and started to cry some more, I mean, what about telling daddy about the reason I'm in this tub this morning? She was as sweet as pie, Sally's heart melted for her daughter. She was clearly growing up and up but she was also just a little girl inside. Oh honey, you don't have to tell anyone at all about this. It just happened one time and it's all taken care of. It has been crazy stressful for you lately and you're just overwhelmed. We're going to find some ways for you to distress and relax and be a kid, grow up at your own pace. How about you stay home today? She nodded. Relieved. The girl behind the shower curtain continued soak and looked straight ahead, tears streaming down her face. I hope this never happens again.